camera speed. What's up guys, Jacob Owens here, and since my edit tutorial for the Kyle Doubt It video, I've gotten a couple requests to do a photo editing tutorial as well, since I have some photo presets. So I'm just gonna run through a quick photo edit tutorial in Lightroom. So I edit all my photos in Lightroom, so I'm gonna open up this, uh, this picture here. I'm just gonna edit one picture with Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. I have a lot of Lightroom presets. Um, the links to the, my different presets for editing photos will be in the description below of this video, so go check those out. Um, I'm gonna show you some of those presets right now when I edit this photo. All right, so I'm gonna import that photo. Um, it's gonna pop up here in a second. I don't know why it's taking so long. There we go. All right, so here's the photo that I brought in. I'm gonna go to develop and go develop that photo. Um, so here's the photo. It's of my friend Sam when we we're in Hawaii jumping. Um, we kind of climbed up this waterfall over here and jumped off this waterfall. So this is a picture of him jumping off the waterfall. So when I go to edit a photo, um, I always start with a preset. Um, I use presets that I've created. So I'm gonna run through some of those right now. Some of my favorites are the, um, the filters that I just dropped that I partnered up with fil filter grade for. Um, so I'm gonna run through some of those. So what I always do is start with a preset. I kind of go through um, and start like finding a base grade that I like. Um, one of the, I actually like that one, Bridge. Um, I go through and kind of click through and I know what my, what my different filters look like. Um, so I can kind of pick one right off the bat. Um, I know what's gonna, what I kind of like to edit my photos a lot like. Um, but for this particular photo, I'm going to start with a rainbow just because there's so many vibrant colors with the greens, the oranges, the rainbow at the bottom of the waterfall, the blue. So rainbow is a good base. Um, so that's a good base, but it's a little contrasty for me. And Sam's a little, um, little overexposed here because of the direct sunlight. So I'm just going to run through some of the quick tweaks that I would do to this photo and, and then talk about the, the effects that I would normally use. So... Um, up here, depending on your um, photo's color temperature, um, this you drag the slider, this is gonna bring it to the more warm, and this is gonna bring it and make it a little colder. Um, I think we had a pretty good balance, right around 53, I think that's good. Um, Tint-wise, I always err on the side of the plus towards kind of these, um, these purple, the purple tones. I don't like coming down into the green area. I always err on a little plus, plus over here and we'll, we'll land about plus eight. Um, exposure wise, this is pretty good. Um, I might, depending on how you like your image, if you like it a little darker or brighter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna expose it a little more. I'm gonna go plus 10 on this. So again, this image is a little contrasty for my liking. Um, I'm gonna take it, I think it was a plus 30. I'm gonna take it down to maybe like a plus 10 here. Um, highlights. I'm gonna bring the highlights down so they're not so just popping like too overexposed in a way. Um, I'm gonna bring it down, Let's bring it to around a plus 10 as well. Um, shadows, again, if I come here and crush the shadows, it's gonna just kinda take all the information and crush it, which isn't bad because it kinda brings attention to Sam, but I'm gonna show you guys a better way of doing that here in a second. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that. I was sitting at a zero. I might bring those up ever so slightly. Plus five, whites. Um, again, it was kind of very hot on him. Um, I don't like how bright that is. So I'm gonna take that actually down. Maybe need a negative thirty. Um, and blacks again. I'm gonna crush it a little bit, but not too much. Maybe negative twenty-five. So clarity. <laughs> this is where um, you can kind of really stylize your image. And I'm gonna show you how with a radial filter. But clarity, you can see if you boost it all the way to 100, what it does, and then if I take it down, how it softens everything. So this is kind of like a, kind of like a sharpness filter, but not really. Um, now what I'm gonna do is, if you tend to bring this clarity all the way up, so now the whole image is kind of affected by this effect, which kind of takes your focus away from Sam jumping over here. So I'm gonna show you something cool that can, you know, be a really cool effect. That, and something I like to do. So I come over here and I choose this um, this little masking circle thing right here. I'm gonna drag a circle 
probably to the size of around Sam, drag it over him. And now what I can do is all these effects right here, I can either affect what's inside that circle or outside that circle. So I wanna affect what's inside that circle right now. So I'm gonna invert this mask. So now whatever I do up here is gonna affect what's inside that circle. Um, I'm gonna probably bring the exposure down a little bit just cause he was, a, actually you know what? I'm gonna bring it up a little bit to really make him pop from the background. Do like a plus, around a plus 20 here. Contrast wise, same kind of thing, bring that up. Um, and now this is where I'm gonna boost the clarity inside of this circle so Sam really pops. Um, I'm gonna boost it to, let's start with a 30. Saturation, highlights, let's bring the highlights down a little bit. Boom, cool. All right, so I'm gonna stick with that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another radial filter, put it around him. And now what I'm gonna have this do is affect everything outside of this circle. So I'm going to bring it, bring the size back down a little bit, there we go. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna have it um, take the clarity down to where it softens it so you can kinda see everything outside the circle is now softening. Mm -hmm. um, so this is gonna bring a little more attention to Sam jumping. He's gonna mm -hmm. pop out from the background. So there you can see everything's kinda softened ever so slightly and Sam now really pops off of that background. Um, I'm gonna boost the saturation a little bit, maybe plus 10. And then exposure. Um, the exposure was actually pretty good. I'm gonna come back here, highlights. Cool, that looks pretty good. So you can see that Sam, if I take off this filter now, I think that's good. I don't think there's really anything else I uh, need to do. So now you can see Sam really kind of stands out here from the background a little better because all of this area is now softened a little bit and I boosted the clarity only inside that circle. And so now he kind of pops off that background. Saturation looks great. Um, now I'm gonna come down here and these. this is where you can got get really creative with your photos and photo editing. I mess with the hue a lot. Um, and one of my favorite things to do with the hue is take this yellow and I here's set to zero where it would no, normally was. I like to drag it down here to the negatives and you can kind of see what it does. Kind of gives it this reddish orangish look and I really like that look um, as opposed to just the heavy greens. So I took this down here. This is on my, again, this is one of my presets from the filter grade preset. I'm gonna take that down, I'm probably negative 78. Then um, I might take the greens down as well so they're not just so over the top vibrant. Maybe like a 55. And then the blues, I'm going to take the blues down, negative 25. And this is where you can just experiment. Find a look that's good for you and what you like. Everyone's a little different in how they like to edit their photos. Um, you don't have to do exactly how, you know, what I do. Um, shadows, now for my shadows on most of my pictures, I usually like my shadows to be, you know, some type of blue. Um, I, I don't know what I just do, so I'm gonna kinda come here to this color here, and the more I boost the saturation, the more apparent those shadows become. So I'm gonna kinda, let's do about, not too heavy, not too little, maybe a plus 15 shadows, highlights, I'm gonna keep that small, maybe a two. Um, sharpening, 30's not bad, I don't wanna over sharpen it. Maybe 25 here, nice reduction. Vignette, we can vignette it a little bit to kinda of really bring our focus to the center. I'm not gonna vignette it that much, but um, let's vignette it slightly to bring our focus more towards the middle of the image. Um, but yeah, back to, sorry, I kind of skipped ahead. Back to these hues, um, really like to mess with these hues. You can really see, you know, if I, on this one specifically on the blues, you can see his shorts change, watch his shorts. There's all the way down, there's all the way up. So really playing with these different hues can give you cool, really cool looks. Saturation wise, I'm gonna take the oranges, boost those a little bit so he's not so white. Yellows, I'm gonna boost those up so those rocks really stand out. 
green. Let's boost the green a little bit. Actually, I kind of like it desaturated a little bit. And again, this is where you kind of get really creative is these different, the hues. Then you come into the saturations of these levels and then the luminance as well. So saturation, I don't want it too saturated. Maybe a negative 25 looks good. Go back to the yellows. I want those rocks to really pop, so we'll do a 35. Cool. Um, and last thing, luminance over here. So luminance, let's see if you can see this. So if I take this down, here's set to zero. If I take this down, watch his skin tone. See that difference, negative. And then now if I take it up positive, so you can see it's the basically the luminance, the brightness of that color. Um, so again, with greens, take it down, kind of just muddies and gr darkens those greens. Take it up, it really makes those greens pop. So I might bring it up just a little bit on the luminance here, make those greens pop. And I actually think I'm gonna go, that looks pretty good to me. Um, blues, keep it a little dark, aqua, same thing. Cool, that looks good. Make sure I'm good here on my levels, on the tone curve. Nice, I'm gonna come back up here again to this filter here. I'm gonna double check here. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna soften it even more outside of him. I'm gonna go to negative 20. Negative 26 will be good. So again, really trying to blur this down slightly, uh, bring him out from the background. And I'm not gonna do this to this photo, but just to show you guys kind of a gradient filter. Um, if you click on this square right here, you can do a gradient. And this is really cool for skies. Um, any image with a sky in it to give the like a gradient to the sky. Now, the let's see here, if I, just to show you dramatically, um, if I take this color up here, boost the saturation, um, exposure, warm it up a little bit. You can see like the gradient and the more I drag it out, the more the gradient, you know, comes over the whole image and the shorten it, the shorter I drag it, the, um, the less effect it has over the whole Im Oops. Hold on. Here we go. I'm going to drag that down and you can really see the gradient that it creates. So this is a cool effect. I use this um, occasionally when there's usually some, some sort of sky in the picture and I can um, really kind of create this cool gradient. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can add it to here. I just might soften it a bit. Let me see. So now it creates this kind of two-tone look to the waterfall. I'm gonna cool it off. Maybe negative 10. And then the purples, I'm gonna drag it up to about a 60 here. Increase the exposure slightly. And I'm gonna boost the saturation a little bit so you can see the water kinda I'm not gonna go there, but you can see what it's doing. Like if I take it all the way up and then all the way down, you can kind of see this this gradient where it starts to fall off. It's kind of super desaturated. It starts to get a little more saturated, saturated, and now saturated. So that's the gradient at work. I'll go to like a 20, plus 20, really quick, just to see. Yeah, so see kind of how it gives the image a little more depth. So um, this is without, I'm gonna bring it back. And there's with, I, I like what that's doing. So, you know what, I'm gonna rock with that. Kind of gives this blue tone to the water as it starts to fall down. Um, that's not bad. Cool, so I think that's pretty good. Um, I could go in and tweak it a little more and finesse it a little more, but that's an idea of how to edit in Lightroom and how to use presets. Um, these are all my presets right along here, this filter grade preset. Again, link to these the different preset bundles I have will be in the description below. Um, and then lastly, the last thing you do is come in here, file, I'm gonna export the image. Uh, make sure you save, save it to a specific folder, whether it's, you know, Hawaii pictures, hiking pictures, whatever, you know, you want the folder to be. Make sure you set the quality, quality to 100 
and then you're just gonna export that sucker so cool guys I hope this really helped um, and I hope that you guys liked it first and foremost all right guys with that being said I am out if you want to see any more tutorials let me know whether it's video editing and what little effects and different things you want to see tutorial wise let me know comment below and I uh, appreciate you guys for watching peace out